my channel. So today for you guys, I have some lemon decor DIYs to share with you. I did a lemon decor video about three years ago, and ever since then, I wanted to do another one. It's just taking me some time to get there. So that's what this video is today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload lots of Dollar Tree related content, whether it be DIYs or hauls. And hopefully for you guys shortly, I will have um, all of the DIYs you guys have been asking me about for Cooper's birthday party. His birthday party is coming up this weekend. It, they're saying it's supposed to rain, which honestly sucks because lots of the stuff I got and I made, I made with the idea that it was going to be outside so now I'm gonna to have to just put it inside we'll see anyways but that's gonna be coming out shortly I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said I'm gonna stop babbling let's begin for our first DIY I'm gonna be using the wooden crates from Dollar Tree I'm gonna start off though with the one that is the bigger of the two that they carry now you're gonna paint or stain your crate any color that you like I am going to paint mine using Waverly chalk paint in white I like to use chalk paints whenever I can just because they dry so much more quickly now I'm going to be using this vinyl piece that I cut out with my Cricut. This is an image you can find in Cricut Space. You just go to the images and type lemons and you'll be able to find this. I have the subscription, so this one is part of the subscription. And honestly, if you tend to use the images a lot, which I do, it's better to get the subscription than buying every image at 99 cents a piece. Also, if you do not have a Cricut, Dollar Tree does carry letters, stickers that you can get. They even carry stickers that have wording. They carry stencils. They have border stickers. They have stickers that have like a chalkboard background and you can use a chalk pen to write directly on top of. If you have a printer at home, you can go to Google Images and type in like fresh lemon sign or lemons 25 cent signs and get an image off of Google Images that you like and then just print it out and glue that to the front of your crate. Now I'm going to be taking some lemons I got from Dollar Tree and just throwing them inside of this crate and now I just have this really simple cute lemon crate. I decided to make one more lemon crate. This time around I'm using the smaller of the two that Dollar Tree carries and I stained it using Minwax Stain and Dark Walnut. Then I'm taking this lemon ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I am just going to be gluing that around my crate. I used hot glue to glue this down. You could pretty much use whatever glue you like. Same thing, I put some lemons inside of the crate and then I was left with two simple cute crates that I could put on top of a tiered tray or I could decorate with anywhere else around my home. For our next DIY, we're gonna continue the whole crate theme. From Dollar Tree, I picked up two of these wooden trays. Now to one of the wooden trays, I will be removing the bottom of it. And all I did is I took a box cutter and I just kept going around the edge of the bottom of the tray until I got through the wood enough that I was able to push the wood out. I wasn't pushing the box cutter in the wood too hard because I didn't want to cut myself. I just did it enough of slight pressure until I got to a point where it was easy to push the wood out. I then took the tray that had no bottom and glued that on top of the tray that still has the bottom. So I was able to make a crate that was deeper than what you normally get at Dollar Tree. I'll be using another vinyl piece that I cut out using my Cricut. The piece I also got from the Cricut Image Center. I don't even know what it's called, but I typed in lemon. Like I said, if you do not have a Cricut, go to Google Images, type in lemon, crate design, things of that nature, and you'll be able to find something that you could print out and just glue to the front of your crate. I'm not being sponsored to say this. If you agree and you have the Cricut, let the people know down in the comments below, but I do think the Cricut is a great investment it can be expensive I purchased mine during Black Friday where they have really good sales and great bundles you are able to make things and you can resell it and get the money back that you put into the Cricut lots of things you see on Etsy are made using the Cricut so I really do recommend it if you can get it or save up to get it I do think it's a great investment here's how I styled my crate I got a mason jar from Dollar Tree as well as some of their yellow straws and I just placed that inside of the mason jar and put that inside of the crate. I then added one of these kitchen towels that I got from Dollar Tree with a really pretty lemon design on it and I threw that inside the crate as well and then I just added a bunch of lemons 
and I think this is super cute and it fits inside of my tear tray. It's awesome. Since lots of these DIYs are being made for a tear tray, I wanted to do a throwback to a tear tray that I made a couple of years ago. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up one of their lemon bowls, salad plates, and dinner plates, which they are carrying right now. And then you want to get three of their clear candle holders. I did attach two of the candle holders using E6000. Now I take the two that are attached to each other and glue that to my dinner plate. I then glue on my salad plate, add another candle holder, but that one I did upside down, and then I glue on the bowl. You do want to use a heavy duty glue to do this, like E6000 Gorilla Glue, but I used hot glue for video purposes just because it dries more quickly and I could get my videos done within a day versus waiting for the glue to completely cure. That's how you make a really pretty lemon tear tray with just $6 worth of Dollar Tree products. Moving along for our next project, I'm going to be using this wood hanging decor piece and I stained it using Verithane stain in Early American. I'll also be using these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. They have these in letters and that's what I mean. You don't need the Cricut to do it. They have ones with different fonts and different colors that you could use. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to take the rub on transfer, cut out the picture that I want, and then place that on top of the wood plaque. You're going to have to rub this into whatever surface it is that you're putting it on. I'm using a Dollar Tree scraper to do this and then you will slowly peel the plastic off. If you see anything that didn't transfer, you want to go back in with your scraper and continue to rub on the top until that piece of the image transfers. It's very similar. To when you're working with vinyl that you cut out using your Cricut. So I cut out this lemons for sale using my Cricut and again got it all from the Cricut design space. I don't know what it's called. I didn't get it from like Etsy or a different seller. And I just rubbed that on top of my wood plaque. Now this is one thing though, the transfer tape got stuck to the rub-on sticker from Dollar Tree and when I was peeling some of the rub-on transfer came off. So if you do this, if you're going to take some vinyl with the transfer tape and put it over one of the Dollar Tree rub-on stickers, I recommend only rubbing the vinyl into place where the vinyl is. Don't just go over the entire thing where there's like excess transfer tape just rub exactly where the vinyl is and you should be okay but if you do manage to take off some of the rub on transfer sticker Dollar Tree's stickers always come with like a bunch of the same thing so I was able to go in with some of the leaves individual pieces and rub them over the areas where the sticker came off and then it made it look whole. Again. These are really easy to make. You can make them for pretty much any type of occasion or holiday. Also, if you do not like the hole at the top, you can take some wood filler to it or even put a ribbon and cover up the hole. For our next DIY, I'll be using some glasses from Dollar Tree. These are shot glasses. And then I'm going to also use some yellow dish soap. You can use whatever glass you want from Dollar Tree though. Now I go ahead and pour the dish soap inside of the glass. And this is gonna be my lemonade. I always get asked questions about how to make fake lemonade using Dollar Tree products. There are not a lot of Dollar Tree products that I know of to create fake lemonade, so I decided to use dish soap. Now, at the end of the season, when you take down your summer decor, you're probably gonna have to dump the dish soap, but then you can fill it up again next year when you put out the summer decor again. It's really inexpensive to do. And then you have a bunch of dish soap left over that you can end up actually using to wash your dishes. Unless you're using big, big glasses and pouring all of your dish soap inside of there. Now to really drive home the idea that this is supposed to be lemonade, I got these DIY stickers from Dollar Tree. Now there's one that's supposed to be either a lemon or like an orange, and then there's one that is supposed to be a watermelon. I painted over the watermelon one to look like a lemon. So I was using two different shades of yellow paint. The lighter one I put at the middle of the lemon. I used the darker of the two yellows kind of right outside of the lighter yellow. And then I mixed a little bit of brown paint in with my yellow paint to create a dark yellow that I put around the very edge of my lemon so that it looked like the rind of a lemon. And then I just kind of kept creating lines going through all of it so that it looked like what a lemon looks like with all the little like vein things inside of it. And then I added some white paint too. I then glued the DIY sticker to the front of the glass to like I said drive home the fact that this is supposed to be like fake lemonade. Now. 
Dollar Tree doesn't carry resin. And I thought, okay, well, resin has to be the perfect thing to make fake lemonade. So that's what I did. I had gotten this resin at Michael's. Make sure you use a coupon. They got rid of the 40% coupon, but they still have the 20% off of the purchases. And then you get points. So make sure you're using that. Along with the resin, make sure you get a glass that you like. A clear glass so you can obviously see the lemonade. So I am not an expert when it comes to resin. This was my first time ever using it. I thought this should be pretty simple because it's just something clear and then I need some yellow inside of it. Let me tell you guys, it is simple, but there are a bunch of different things that you want to know beforehand. So I'm not going to sit here acting like I am a resin expert. I'm just going to say you want to watch videos, read the instructions. I read the instructions on the box that didn't tell me everything that I needed to know. You do want to mix the resin very slowly. You, you want to mix equal parts A and B, then mix it very slowly to get rid of the bubbles. There are different things you can do to prevent bubbles, like pouring the resin on the side of your container versus the very center I poured it at the very center also if you're gonna mix a bunch of resin the resin is gonna get hot as it sets and if you mix a bunch of resin it's gonna get really hot and that's what happened to me so keep all these things in mind make sure you watch some videos beforehand obviously read the instructions on your resin I did do that but it didn't tell me absolutely everything I needed to know and watching videos came in handy so I ended up mixing some resin dye that I also got at Michaels it was a yellow color but my gosh you guys I used one drop of the dye as it was in my cup I stirred it then I poured the resin inside of the glass. The yellow ended up looking too light to me. On camera, it actually looks perfect in my opinion compared to like the color I ended up with. But then in person, it looked a little too light. So I added two more drops and then that ended up making the resin the same color as my dish soap. Once I had everything mixed and I was like, okay, this is the best color I'm going to get, I added a yellow straw from Dollar Tree. I just placed that inside of my glass. And then I ended up getting some fake fruit slices from Amazon. I took one of the lemon pieces from there. It only comes with two lemon pieces. And I just placed that at the top of my glass. And then I glued on one of the lemon slices that I painted with the DIY stickers from Dollar Tree to the front of my glass. And this one came out really cute. Like I said, it looks more like a Fanta lemonade versus real lemonade. There are things that I wish I could have done differently. But I want to try this again, get some more resin. I love the way that it came out though. It's so cute. Moving right along, our next project, we're going to be using the Dollar Tree wood beads, which I normally don't use. I like to get wood beads elsewhere and paint them, but these had a really nice yellow color I wanted to use. I took all of the large and medium yellow beads I could get from two packs, and this is what I was left with. So that's kind of like why I always say that I'm not the biggest fan of Dollar Tree wood beads. It's not really ever colors you want and then they come in multiple sizes and you just don't have enough big ones. Now I'll be using twine. Whenever I'm using twine, I take a piece of tape and put it at the edge of the twine and I twist the tape so I have a really nice point that makes it easy for me to feed the beads through. One more issue with Dollar Tree wood beads, sometimes the holes are closed on some of the ends of the beads so like one some of the beads i was able to get it through one hole and then i couldn't get it through the other end because the hole was either completely closed or it was just too small of a hole with the medium and large size beads i got from two packs i was able to make a good size bead garland so now i'm going to make some tassels i just take my twine i wrap it around my hand you just wrap it around as many times as you want i did 15 which actually with the twine that i had ended up being a really thick piece of tassel then you want to go ahead and tie your loop at the top so that all of the twine stays together. I ended up using the bottom of the bead garland to tie the very top of the loop that I made. Normally I take a separate piece of twine and do this, but I just decided to use the excess twine that I had from the bead garland that I was making. Once I had the top tied, I took a scissor and cut through the loop so that now it looks like a tassel with a bunch of loose ends. And then you will take another piece of twine and tie that around kind of like the upper middle portion of your tassel. So then it actually ends up looking like a piece of tassel rather than a bunch of twine that's just laying there. 
You'll do that to both ends of your bead garland. And after I have that all done, I took another one of my DIY stickers and I glued that on top of one of the tassels. And I was left with this pretty piece of bead garland. Now I'm actually gonna use this on this Dollar Tree image that I got. So the picture frame and the image are from Dollar Tree. It says home sweet home with the really pretty lemons around it. I broke the glass getting it out of my bag so I had to remove the glass. Anyways, I glued the bee garland around the top of the image. Then I took a couple of more of the DIY stickers and added those to the corners of the image. And then I just really just brought this image up a notch with the bead garland and the DIY stickers. I really like how this one came out. It reminds me of something I could buy at Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. Here's another project you could use the bead garland with. From Dollar Tree, I picked up this wooden tray. It was stained with Verithane stain in Early American. I'll be using this fabric I also got from Dollar Tree. It's really pretty, I love this one. It's just a bunch of lemons. So I go ahead, I trace the bottom of the tray on top of the fabric, and then I cut it out. Once I have my fabric cut, I go ahead and I glue that to the inside of my tray. Look how cute this tray is, I love it. Only $2 right there, anyways. To decorate the tray, I place this beautiful coffee mug that I got from Dollar Tree, really pretty with the lemons. And then I put the wood bead garland inside of the mug and just kind of hanging out. And then I just add a little lemon on the corner and that's just how I decorate it, staged it, whatever you want to call it. Really easy to do and really inexpensive to make. And just how pretty is that lemon fabric? You can use that lemon fabric to make so many things, especially if you know how to sew. You can make some really pretty things with that. This project is so easy. From Dollar Tree, pick up one of their wooden trucks and you could paint it whatever color you like. Obviously, I'm using yellow because I'm doing a lemon theme. So I'm using folk art yellow light paint. I paint the truck that yellow color, but not the little like um, bed of the truck or the fence looking part of the truck. I painted that part brown. I'll be using another piece I cut out with my Cricut. It just says lemons, 25 cents. This one, I just got some font and did that. I didn't find like an image or anything on the Cricut design space. Place that at the front of my truck and then just rub it into place. Then to the back of the truck, I just squeezed in some lemons from Dollar Tree. Just like squeeze them right in there. And that's it. It's a really easy thing to make and is a great addition to a tear tray. Another great addition to a tear tray are these little decor pictures from Dollar Tree. Now they do have an image on the front that can be scraped off. So there's a piece of plastic that you will take off first and then you get some soap and water on top of the image and then just scrape it off. I'm just using one of the Dollar Tree scrapers to do this. I used my Cricut again to get an image that I liked and I went ahead and cut that out and placed the vinyl on the front of my picture. Throw some flowers inside of there and that was it. It's another great piece to add into a tear tray and I really like the way that this one came out and like this one was really easy to do as you can see. I just removed an image and then put an image on the front. This is another oldie but a goodie. You can use Dollar Tree fabric placemats or kitchen towels to create accent throw pillows. So all you have to do is glue the edges of the um, fabric together. There's actually glue sticks you can buy specifically made for fabric bonding. And then you want to leave one side open where you'll then place some filler inside of. So Dollar Tree does carry tiny, tiny, tiny accent pillows. You can go ahead and take the cotton out of if you want to, or you can just go buy a pillow at like Walmart or Target for $3 and then just take the inside of that and put that inside of your throw pillows. And you can make a bunch that way versus buying the poly fiber in a bag that costs way more money and you don't even get as much. And then you can go ahead and seal it off again using your hot glue. If you know how to sew and you have a sewing machine, do that, okay? But this is the easy way to do it if you don't know how to sew or you don't have a sewing machine. Well, you just saw I had made using placemats. This time around, I used some kitchen towels from Dollar Tree. They do have these pretty blue checkered ones every time during the summer that paired really well with the lemon one. So I had cut those down and I glued them together, added my polyfiber, and then that was it. I had these really pretty accent pillows. 
using Dollar Tree products and I just love the way that these had turned out. Before I share with you guys how I decorated my tear tray, I want to share this little DIY as well which is a throwback. From Dollar Tree I picked up one of their galvanized planters and I painted the inside of the planter yellow using some yellow acrylic paint. And then I got this image offline. It's a little like lemonade image and this is what I mean. You can go to Google Images, find something you like, print it out and then cut it out. And I just glued that to the front of the planter. Then you go ahead and fill the planter with some greenery. I have this version that I had made that I filled with some IKEA greenery and I'm going to be using that in the tear tray that I'm showing you right now. So it's time to decorate my tear tray with some of the items I made. So this tear tray I got from Home Goods for $16.99 last year. It's just a white tear tray. So to the top, I put my little planter with the greenery. I added my fake lemonade, as well as one of the crates that I made using the Dollar Tree products. In that crate, I placed my wood plaque. At the bottom, I put my little truck. I placed the bigger crate that I made down there, as well as the little milk juice canister looking thing with the little floral pieces inside of there. I did put another greenery plant back there and then I just added some lemons from Dollar Tree all around my tear tray. So that's what I was able to fit inside of my tear tray. Uh, if you have a three tear tray or one that's bigger, you might be able to fit pretty much every little kind of tear tray DIY we did. So that is it for this summer lemon decor video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really wanted to do another one of these because I really liked when I made the lemon DIYs two years ago. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.